Well, I tell you, all week the rhetoric's been about playing running rugby from both coaches, and you couldn't have asked for better conditions. Now, a breath of air, firm underfoot, and it's a really wide pitch. The team that utilises the width will do well today. Now, it's a local affair, and as we know, they're always a little bit spiky, so it's good to have a real senior head in the middle in Dean Richards. And for those slightly more spiky moments, our fourth official and TMO is Trevor Fisher back in the trucks. The South Yorkshire Derby competing for the Yorkshire Regiment Trophy. 14 miles separate these two fierce rivals. It's Doncaster against Rotherham from round 10 of the Green King IPA Championship. Fascinating game for both teams in the context of their season. Game is going to be tight and with Flockhart kicking for one side. McKinnery was out there in the rain, wasn't he? Yesterday we saw him. We came to Doncaster first and then to Rotherham and this is going to be crucial. This will be crucial. 76% his success so far in the championship season. His 10th start, 97 points. Will this be 100 for the season for the Scotsman? Looks fairly good, doesn't it? The bright sunshine here. The Knights fans like it. It's 3-0. James McKinney. Does make it difficult for those catching the ball. He spent a good half an hour, 45 minutes kicking at the end of yesterday's captain's run. Realises in derbies, normally tight affairs, how crucial every point is. Just a little chip, wasn't it? Hardly put anything behind it. Just a gentle chip from James McKinnon. Traditionally a big, massive carrier, but he carries in the wide outside Rotherham's game. You just feel this, this game, the, the pressure is building and building the whole time. We've seen five or six penalties now on the bounce. Pace, brilliant run from here, and there's Rotherham, and it's Keating. When Rotherham got the line out right, the backs moves are superb. Lloyd Hayes, this young man. And then Keating was there as well. Well, we heard from Pat in a minute. That was a brilliant call. I've got to say from Tom Holmes initially. And what a run. What a run from Lloyd Hayes. The Chester club will go absolutely mental. I know they played Hull yesterday. Good break. Good bust. Coming back at an angle. That's what you do. Keep your legs pumping, lad. That's what he's doing. Tackles just going off and having the wear for. The support there is from Keating. That is a brilliant score. Absolutely brilliant. McKinney adds the two, he's always going to tap mention it, didn't he? Down on the pitch side. Just what a fit side rather a mark. Josh Fletcher in charge of that aspect. That second half will play its part. This would be a great response from Doncaster, wouldn't it? Flockhart, as you say, Derek, within his range, not a huge run up really good strike from Flockhart great kick from him it's a four point game at half time one try from Rotherham but a tight affair as you expect it Hugely physical effort out there, but it's Rotherham who have the lead here at Castle Park. Ten points to six. Tom Holmes is waiting to speak to Bill Latham now. Tom, in a tight cage affair like this, how crucial was that try when it came? Oh, most certainly. We made a clear line break earlier on. We just couldn't finish it off. It's just one of those things. When we make those uh, gains against a team like Donny, Donny, you know, we've got to fish them off. How much will the second half be about patience, Tom? Most certainly, but I think the whole game, the whole until the very end, it's tight as you expect the Yorkshire Derby to be, and uh, it's going to come down to the wire, isn't it? Cheers, Tom. Top. 
Well, this feels every bit the local derby, an enthralling 37 minutes of tactical cut and thrust. Find out. So this is, again, a, a, I wouldn't like to think what Clive Griffiths is thinking. You've, you've got a position, you're going to get a penalty. It's been reversed. Kick the last eight in the championship. Former Ulster Academy man, scored 37 points. Throw 12. And it's an easy, easy three points for Rotherham. It really is gifted to them. Ill discipline. Very, very accomplished kicker. Part of the Championship 15. I'm surprised you haven't mentioned that, Darren. They beat Canada back in November. Brilliantly led by Martin Hark, the Nottingham coach, who's part of that squad. Great favourite championship rugby that. Phil Hark would like a great day for Doncaster Knights rugby today. Looks low. It's right through the uprights. It's pleased the crowd and those three points from Rotherham. Which immediately cancelled out by that man. Big step up from Court Constitution, who's been involved in all nine games so far. Try score against Jersey. There's Brad Field, there's Pierce Francis. Passes into Keating's path. Keating just need the footballing skills now. Michael Keating. Second try of the day. What a risky pass from Pierce Francis. Two mistakes have now gifted Rotherham eight points in this second half and probably ten. Again, a try from nothing. The first try was well carved out by Lloyd Hayes. It's just a, a speculative pass to really no one. Keating did so well, he could have struggled to pick the ball for the first time. He put his boot on it. And the call will be coming out for somebody. Get time, 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 pick, and go. Again, it's a coach killer. McKinney adds the two. Lee Blackett is going to join us now. Lee, you've just been gifted seven points. James, come off. Gifted. Nine and ten. Nine, ten. Hello. Hello, Lee. Hi. <laughs> You've just been gifted seven points. Must yeah. be a happy man. Oh, I don't know whether gifted. I think uh, our defence, we got off the line aggressively and we created the opportunity now. Uh, it still sort of took some finishing, but we'll take them any day. Yes, yeah, classy finishing from Michael Keating, his second of the day. What do you need to do now to see this game out, Lee? I think it's just keep playing high tempo. We, we, we said at half time, we felt we created a lot of opportunities. When we did create opportunities on the edge, we just weren't clinical Tackle. enough, whether it was taking they defenders on when they're, when they're backing off, we needed to just go at them a bit more, or when they're blitzing off the line, just get a little bit tighter, because they were just the passes were too long. Thank you for your time, Lee. We're going to come back to play, because Spevan Armitage had turned the left. Quigley, his bulk of his work has been in the tight exchange, isn't it? Set-piece time, Roberts. Jarvis, put the back out, just brought down by Keating, but they're over now, the Knights, and it's Phil Eggleshaw, Chai is awarded, and they are right back in this game, are they, Doncaster? Very evident this afternoon, Roberts again. Feel it. Tackle behind that gain line, but Hills is there again. Roberts, Armitage, Jarvis now. Jarvis stretching and scoring. This is some comeback for the Doncaster. This to take the lead. There's been some important kicks here. Between these two teams, you know about Carrie Law for Rotherham some years ago. Not a sound here at Castle Park. Yeah. Block out. Hardly ever 
This is two in a row, and he has just taken the lead. For Doncaster. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Oh, no. away, oh, no. My God. He's getting carried away oh. as well. My apologies. Who'd be a coach? <laughs> what an important kick for James McKinney. Ireland under 20. Alongside Simon Zebo a few years ago now. His second stint here at Rother. But has he had a more important kick for the Titans? Flags are up. He's got it. What a kick from McKinney. And that is why he puts hours and hours and hours of practice on a training field going for those kicks. Well, do you know that last try from Doncaster drew Blackett out of his seat, down onto the touchline, two quick changes, a big team talk with the guys going on, and it had exactly the desired effect that he would have wanted. He's now sat nice and snug and warm back in his seat in the stand. But it's rather on the other side of it, need to be squeaky clean here. There's Chaloner. Parlo. Oh. Jarvis. There's the ball for Scanlon. Oh, it's been knocked on. And there it is. That is full time. Look what it means to the Rotherham players. Tom Holmes, the captain, knows just how important, in terms of the local derby, how important the win was today. But further afield, they needed a response from the Mosley and Bristol defeats, and they have it today. Showed real character in coming back, Rotherham. They have beaten Doncaster 23 points.